Hey, it's Adrian and today I have a pair of open air earbuds that are pretty impressive. These are the TrueFree O2 wireless Bluetooth earbuds which have lightning quick multipoint functionality, super loud audio output, exceptional battery up to 22 hours while still being comfortable to wear and looking stylish. They're super lightweight at around eight to nine grams and the 50 millimeter large drivers along with the IPX5 rating pretty much give you everything you need in an open ear earbud. So let's take a closer look and a big thanks to TrueFree for sending these out for review. The box has the TrueFree O2 charging case, the earbuds, quick start guide, and USB type A to type C charging cable. Here's a quick look at some of the specs. Feel free to pause or jump ahead to the next section. The design of the O2 earbuds looks really sharp, especially with this orange and dark gray type of color combination. Now on the outside here, you can see the TrueFree logo and it's against a reflective surface. And if I bring this pen nib here, you can actually see it. So it's basically like a mini mirror in here. It looks really sharp and it'll play nicely with the light as well. And this is the area where you're gonna use for touch controls as well. Now we do have this weighted type of area that sits behind your ear to just kind of keep this, you know, balance when you're wearing it. And it comes in at only around eight or nine grams. It's very lightweight and easy to wear for hours at a time. Now taking a look at the back of it, that's where we have the metal charging contacts, the speaker grill, and that's about it in terms of the design. Now this is the left one, you can see the left uh, marking here and then the right one is exactly the same. They have an IPX5 rating so this will be good if you're going to the gym with you know kind of light sweating but you definitely don't want to have these submerged. The charging case is pretty sizable but it's actually very lightweight coming in at only around 50 grams and then once you add in the two earbuds the entire thing comes to about 70 grams so very lightweight. Now we do have a USB type C charging port on the rear and this finish is a smoothish type of finish, even though it looks like it's a bit textured, it's fairly smooth. Now, opening it up is really easy. There is a little notch here, but I actually just found, you know, kind of resting my thumb on this wide side here, you know, it's easy to open and close. And then once you open it up, we do have those uh, metal charging contacts along with a button to sync or reset the uh, earbuds. Now, to place these in, you're just gonna place them in just like so and to take them out again just like so. So it's very easy to open the case, get access to these and put them back in. And the magnets are sufficiently strong enough, by the way, this charging actively. But yeah, the magnets are sufficiently strong enough so that even if you put it upside down and you kind of shake it, it stays nicely in place. So really no type of worries there at all. Pairing the earbuds to your phone is really easy. So you'll just open the case up, hit scan, and I could see it's there at the bottom. So I'll just tap on that. Go ahead and pair it. And we're fully connected and you can see we have 100% battery life. And if I go into the options, you can enable call and audio control, but there's no other type of you know codex settings to play with. I'm now gonna pair it to my Z Fold 6 since we do have multi-point on here. So I'll just open it back up again. Now I did disconnect from my S24 Ultra just to put it back into pairing mode, but let's go ahead and hit scan and we'll wait for it to pop up here. And there we go, True Free O2. Go ahead, pair. And again, same thing, so I could see the battery life. So it's successfully paired on my Z Fold 6. So you could see that the True Free O2 is simultaneously paired to my Z Fold 6 and S24 Ultra thanks to the multipoint, and it is lightning quick. Let me demo that. Let me show you just how quick multipoint works. So I'll start on the S24 Ultra. And you can see when I pause it here, it's automatically gonna resume on the S24 Ultra. So yeah, basically within a second, you can easily switch between two devices. It's the fastest implementation of multi-point switching I've seen on any pair of earbuds or headphones that I've reviewed so far. It's very impressive. And did you notice just how loud these get at max volume? So you can basically flip these upside down, put it on your desk, and hear you know, music or talking clearly. Here's a demo. Much anywhere, like your car dash, to your bedroom, near your workspace. So, if so I can actually easily make out that type of audio or me talking just by having these placed upside down at max volume. It's seriously loud. Let's take a look at the True Free app settings. So I'll hit connection. Now it is connected to uh, Bluetooth on my phone, but I just need to connect it with the app and I can see it's successfully connected. 
and we have 96 percent uh, battery life on both the right and left earbud now if i go into the settings here this is where you would go into update firmware if there's any um, firmware updates now i did update it on mine um, you can also go ahead and search between English and Chinese for the voice prompts and you do have access to a library of kind of background noises that you could play if you're trying to sleep or just, you know, kind of calm down. Now on here, we could disable all touch controls if you just want to use your phone to uh, control the earbuds. You can also turn on gaming mode and the latency is going to be about 70 milliseconds, I believe. But what I like is that you can actually remap the controls and I think every app should have this. So you could see a single tap or what they call a click. You could do volume up and volume down. That's my preferred way. And then a double tap or double click would be to play pause. And this is really funny. They call it three blows. So, you know, hitting it three times, you could go to the previous track or the next track. And then if you press and hold, you could go from gaming mode. And these are the different options. So gaming mode, and you can also set voice assistance if you use that. I don't really use it, but yeah, you have full uh, touch control remapping on here if we go into equalizer so these are the various presets now i've gone through all of these and i find electronic to be the best one and what you can also do is you could go into customize create your own um, eq and you can also go into adaptive now i've not used this just because i've really liked using the electronic uh, eq now you have a bass enhance i really don't think it's necessary unless you like a lot of bass i think you know electronics is a good mix of everything you can also tap on the profile icon go into language and these are the available languages in the app and you also have access to the manual if you lose it touch controls are very responsive and easy to use so a single tap on mine is going to increase the volume or decrease the volume that's how i set it up in the app a double tap is going to pause or resume playback on either one. And then a triple tap is gonna go ahead and open up the voice assistant, or I can go back and do a triple tap here to put it into game mode and to take it out of game mode. Now, if I go and I long press on this, this is gonna go to the next track and then I could press and long press again and go back to the previous track. So very simple. All right, let's talk about the sound performance. Now, the mere fact that these are open ear earbuds and they're not gonna sit like in your ear canal, like, you know, in-ear earbuds or semi-in-ear earbuds, these are just not gonna sound the same as those. However, I can tell that a lot of focus and effort was put into the sound on these because even though these can't sit in-ear, the amount of volume that this pumps out with those large 15 millimeter drivers and just how well you can actually hear bass on open ear earbuds, I could tell, you know, they really actually focus to kind of bridge that gap. Now, the treble performance on here is pretty good, all things considering. So I'm a fan of how they tuned it. Now, it's not tuned too harshly, so there's not a lot of, you know, siblings that you're hearing and it's not too muffled or muddy sounding. Of course, it's not going to give you the clarity as in ear, but it's good enough that I could keep these on for you know five six seven seven hours during my workday but actually it was the bass performance that really surprised me with this because you know when you kind of push your earbuds in that's when you get more of that bass feel and bass hit and you can actually hear the bass come through on this of course it's not going to be the same but even without using like the bass enhance uh equalizer or preset in the true free app you could definitely hear the bass come through and that's thanks in part to you know the 15 millimeter driver so i'm actually really impressed with the sound coming out of these these are tuned well enough that you could keep them on the whole day and if you've tried other open ear earbuds and the sound you know kind of let you down I don't think you're going to have a problem with these, especially if you have, you know, somewhat realistic expectations of what to expect, you know, compared to uh, in-ear earbuds. Now, these also get super loud. I actually can't listen to these, you know, past, say, 60%. And I generally listen to things very loud, but, you know, going to 70% or higher, these are just way too loud to be comfortable for me. But that also goes to show, like, if you're in a very noisy or, you know, windy environment, this will definitely overpower that thanks to the large drivers. Let's do a sound leak demo. Now this isn't ideal conditions because I'm in a super quiet room and in the real world, you'll be on a bus, you know, in a restaurant, coffee shop, whatever, it's not gonna be quiet like this. But I have the microphone, I would say it's about maybe, you know, 18, 20 inches away from me. And I'm gonna play some music at around 40% volume. Fifty percent volume. Okay. 
So I'd say that you can definitely hear some of that coming through. Of course, it's an open ear design, but again, this is a dead quiet room. No one is usually gonna be standing this close to you. And if they are, you're gonna be you know, in a restaurant, coffee shop, whatever. So yeah, there is some sound leakage, of course, with the open ear design. But in most environments, if you're listening at around 40 to 50%, I think you'll be fine because you'll have the ambient noise to kind of drown that out. Here's what audio sounds like from the microphones on the TrueFree O2 open earbuds. And I also use these for calls and I have zero issues with stability or the other party hearing me. I now have simulated background noise playing from a coffee shop at around 40 to 50% playing on my phone. And this is what the microphone audio sounds like. And it's actually doing a pretty good job of suppressing or reducing background noise while I'm talking. These are also gonna be fine if you're gonna be doing casual gaming on your phone. So with the game mode enabled, I really didn't notice any type of latency while gaming. The battery life on this has been truly impressive. So you can get up to 22 hours of battery life if you use the charging case. Now I listen to these at around 50% volume, say 40 to 50% because they do get quite loud. Anything past, you know, say 60 to 70%. And I was averaging about seven hours listening at 50%. So if you listen even at 40%, which is extremely doable, you can probably get even up to eight hours on here. And when the battery does go down all the way, a quick, you know, one hour and 15 minute charge is gonna charge this up fully from zero. In terms of comfort, these are super comfortable. You could wear this the entire day and you're really not gonna notice it. So even though I normally wear glasses most of the day, I had these on for about, you know, six hours at a time while I was editing a video, zero issues at all. Now, where I could see a problem with this is that even though it has this kind of weighted area at the back to keep it kind of balanced, if you're doing really strenuous activities, like say burpees or something where you're just moving a lot or, you know, kind of changing positions up a lot, there is a chance, you know, it could get dislodged a bit, maybe even fall over if you've bent down. Now I have bent down while wearing these to pick things up, not really an issue. I went for a kind of, you know, a quick short jog and they actually kind of stayed in place. Yeah, they kind of moved around a bit, but they actually never fell off of my ear. So just something to be mindful of. So because these are open ear in design, there's no active noise cancellation and no need for a transparency mode since you're kind of aware of your surroundings while you're wearing these. And there is no smart detection or in-ear detection. So the true free O2 wireless open earbuds are definitely the best open earbuds that I've used and in more than one area. The sound is actually good enough to keep these on the entire day thanks to the 15 millimeter drivers and they get so loud like I showed as well so it'll work in any type of noisy environment. And I also got up to seven hours of battery life but yeah you can easily wear these for you know five six seven even eight hours at a time and because they're so comfortable and lightweight it's really not an issue. And anytime you get calls or you want to switch between, you know, audio output on a device, you get lightning quick multipoint. It's the fastest that I've experienced on any type of earbud. You're basically getting as well-rounded of an experience as you can for around $42 US when these go on sale. And when they're not on sale, I think it's around 50 US, which is still an amazing value for just everything you get on here. So if you're interested in picking up the True Free O2 Wireless Open Earbuds, I'm gonna leave some links down below for you to learn more or to pick one up for yourself. And if you found this video helpful, please consider checking out some of my other tech reviews. I review a bunch of different earbuds, headphones, and a variety of other tech, I'm sure you'll find something you like. And if I can ask a huge favor, would you mind liking and subscribing? It truly does help me out as a growing channel, and I will see you in the next one soon.